Hi guys, so today is Sunday. We've worked a lot on the Defender, like every weekend for a long time now. As we have all this 12 volt and 220 volt electrical setup ready, we decided as the sun is still out and it's still kind of summer season, we have took everything and I'm gonna meal prep with the electrical setup of the Defender. This seems finished, but it's not finished yet. And it's we still have to put a locker here and also a locker on the door underneath the um, fridge in front. But <laughs> it looks really nice here. And we managed to really do like all these wooden panels with carpet on top. They are exactly the size and they are really, for the moment, a hassle to remove. <laughs> technique special yeah <laughs> special technique we started to store some stuff inside not sure yet if everything is in the right place for the moment but we tried to put everything we need here for cooking like this it should be easily accessed while traveling or out on weekends so here our <laughs> beautiful portable induction hub this was the reason of all this amazing, huge electrical setup. Plugging in the induction cooktop, putting on the inverter. This is the panel where we can see everything. This is the auxiliary battery. It isn't 100% because when we finished to put everything in the car, well, before putting everything in the car, I used the Hoover to Hoover in the car and I plugged the Hoover here. So see, this is crazy to do and this. And some tools, yeah. We decided to take a portable induction hub because as you saw our setup, we're clearly not planning to cook inside and stay inside the cab. We plan to stay in the outdoors. What is great with this portable hub is that we just need a longer cable and we can go a bit further from the car. <laughs> Today it's like this because we are testing everything. But this electrical hub is just on and off. It works if it's windy, if the weather is really cold, and we think it's way more efficient than having a gas stove. Now that you see our kitchen set up, please let me know because this is something that comes often back at us. With this setup, apparently we look like a motorhome. So I think that it isn't true, but you need to tell me. This is our kitchen setup. We plugged in the induction cooktop. We have a table now. Is it different? Is Does it look like a motorhome? We don't have a huge campground around the car. This is where we will sleep as a family and this is where we will cook. So let me know. Our goal is to be the most autonomous possible and this is why we decided to remove gas for cooking. So we would only need uh, fuel and water when we go out traveling and we are confident, well we hope, and this is why we are testing everything today and cooking a few stuff for the week. We hope that only only by driving and with the solar power that we will have afterwards on the pop-up roof, we hope it will be sufficient to recharge our auxiliary battery to use this induction cooktop for cooking and never need to plug to the shore for recharging our auxiliary battery. I prepared and took some food for Hello, cooking. <laughs> And as we don't have any water tanks, we just took some water bottles. Not the best, but we aren't organized today and everything was decided just before going out. Rice, quinoa, lentils. We have some chicken here and some veggies. Voilà. Voilà. Oh. You can see here that it's taken power from the auxiliary battery. It's super efficient and you can boil water really, really quickly. And this is awesome. The only downside that I see is that we can't read this clearly because of the sun. Là, je vais baisser la température. Maintenant que ça boue, je vais laisser sur for 
boiling the water, we can see that it took 3% of the auxiliary battery and before when the induction cooktop was at its maximum, 1,800 watts, it was taking way more power. It was at 1,700 watts on the AC loads. Now that we have put the induction cooktop lower, it's taking less power from the auxiliary battery, but you can see it's still going down quite quickly, in fact. But as we won't keep the induction cooktop at a really high heat temperature for cooking, because obviously everything will burn, the fact that we are lowering the power of the induction cooktop, the battery should last longer, so it should be all good. We hope so. While the rice is cooking, I want to share with you the sponsor of today's video, 12 Volt Planet. It's a UK-based company that has an amazing online webshop with all the necessary products for doing the best electrical setup in your 4x4 camper. Their website is really easy to search on and they have a large range of different components, going from high-end Victron products to small bits and pieces or tools for making any electrical installation. On top of that, the team is super helpful and is always happy to help a customer. They also ship worldwide and are offering you a discount on your next order. You'll find it in the description box. Previously we had an MSR cooking set and last year we have replaced it for the Stanley cook sets. It's good because obviously it goes for induction so this is great and in the set we have a frying pan there are some utensils there are plastic ones there's a big pan and there's a medium one here with also a cover and see you can use it there are some holes in it to remove the excess of water you have these two things to put the hot pans on them and there's also a cutting board I can't do it with one hand, but you get like a nice large cutting board. And all of this goes in the bigger pan, then put this on top and all this is secured properly and only takes this size in the car. Rice is cooked and we have a little fly in it. Mm. Yeah. So when you remove the pan from the cooktop, it stops. A huge good point is the sound of this cooktop. It doesn't make any noise, you can just stay around in nature and not having this huge gas sound when you're cooking. Now let's check the auxiliary battery. It's at 86% and before it was at 92%. Next step, quinoa. We know it. <laughs> oh, heat. Oh, mm. Okay. We don't know how to use it properly yet. But we can not it. Just wondering if the quinoa will go out of the holes afterwards when it's cooked and removing the excess of water. Does it feel The quinoa is cooked. Does it go out from the holes? Battery is at 81%. Black lentils, lentils belgar. 75% and this is the third pan that we are cooking. Today is a test, so keep in mind that when we travel or when we are out on weekends, we don't cook that much food all in once. This is really to test and see how the battery goes. When we travel, I think that maybe we will cook one or two meals a day and not use that much the battery with the induction cooktop. We love to fire cook and when it's possible, we always fire cook but you can't fire cook everywhere and all year so it's important to have a reliable and efficient way of cooking and can you hear nothing no noise it's just the boiling water behind me and there's no huge noise while cooking and this is really really nice 
Lentils are cooked. Let's check the battery because lentils cook longer than rice and quinoa. So now we are at 71%. A bit more than 20% was used to cook rice, quinoa and lentils. Now we're gonna cook some veggies and then we will cook the chicken. I like to put bicarbonate de soude. I think it's baking soda in English. So we have three packets of veggies, but in fact the pan isn't large enough, so we should have used the larger one, but never mind. Attends, j'ai pas mis ça. T'as pas mélangé. <laughs> we are cooking the veggies and the battery is down to 66%. So we boiled the water and now it's cooking on a lower heat at 600 watts. And see, we couldn't put all this. Ah, tu me fais peur. The sun is setting, it's gonna be behind the mountain soon. It's a little more chilly than before. I think the veggies are cooked. Mm -hmm. He's gonna take care of pouring out the water. 62%. Chicken with spices and olive oil. We're almost done with the chicken and I checked the battery and it's at 55% for the moment. So still a few pieces of chicken to cook after this batch. We have finished the cooking and meal prepping. We have cooked first some rice, then some quinoa, lentils, veggies and chicken. And we only used the induction cooktop and with the frying pan for the chicken and the pan for all the rice, lentils, quinoa and veggies. And we started to cook and had 92% on the battery. Now we have 52%. Tell me what you think. We are very happy with this kitchen upgrade for traveling and I feel that we will really enjoy outdoor cooking even more than before when we need to use the induction cooktop rather than the gas stove. As you saw with the electrical setup and that we can see everything so easily on this panel, we used about 40% of the auxiliary battery. So now what we need to know is how long does it take to recharge the auxiliary battery with the Red Arc DC-DC 40 amps and the solar power that we will have later on when the pop-up roof is installed. So still in testing mode, huge amazing upgrade. Of course the con for having the induction cooktop is that you need a huge electrical setup but honestly you might think it takes up a lot of space in our Land Rover Defender but for us it was an important upgrade and we don't feel that this electrical setup takes up that much space in the Defender. La révolution. Now that the veggies are cooking, the beans. On dit beans? Green. Je sais même pas comment on dit haricots. Haricots? Haricots? 